Four policemen were shot dead by militants in Shopian district of South Kashmir today when they were repairing their vehicle. The two policemen died on spot while two others succumbed to injuries in a hospital. The National Investigating Agency today conducted simultaneous raids and arrested a deputy superintendent of district jail Amphala Jammu and a militant for hatching a conspiracy to recruit youth into militancy and send them to Pakistan occupied Kashmir for arms training. Punjab Finance Minister Manpreet Singh Badal today said that Modi government had finalized the raffle deal to help industrialists and accused the government of not following the set procedures in the deal. Congress State President Gulam Ahmad Mir today accused the BJP of raising Article 35A issue with an eye in 2019 elections. He said that the Congress respects Supreme Court, but people aspirations are also needed to be looked into. Bharatiya Janta Yuva Morcha today held an introductory meet to discuss the coming poll strategy. Where State President Ravindra Rana said that their main aim is to engage the youth with the party to take the country on the path of development. BJP MLA Lal Singh today took out a bike rally demanding CBI inquiry into the Katua case. He said that the movement will continue till demand for the CBI inquiry is not fulfilled. The Jammu Srinagar National Highway was restored for one way traffic on Wednesday. The highway had remained closed due to multiple landslides in Udhumpur and Ramban districts, stranding thousands of passengers on both sides. National Panthers Party chairman today appealed the newly appointed governor of Jammu and Kashmir to set a commission of inquiry against all corrupt politicians to bring transparency and accountability in the system. A large number of students and participants attended the concluding ceremony of the first mega multi-sports event Ladakh School Olympics on August 28 at Leh. Chief Secretary B.V.R. Subramanian presented the medals to the winners. This is all today we have in this bulletin. For latest news and updates, do subscribe Excelsior News.